I've been dabbling with Forex for the last couple of years without a great deal of success. I was talking about it to a friend of mine and he mentioned that he knew a guy that was really good at it. He offered to connect me with him. Maybe he could help. I was starting to think that Forex was a scam because I didn't have a lot of success with it and I didn't know a lot of people that did. Hey Russ, how's it going? Hello Alex, how are you? Good, good. This is Russ Horn. I did some research on Russ, who seems to have almost a cult following. After a bit of arm twisting and begging, I have convinced Russ to spend some time with me. I will document as much as I can and keep this as unbiased as I can. After a few days, I want to know the truth about Forex trading. Either 1. Yes, it is possible to trade Forex and make a living. Or 2. No. It's just one big scam. Andrew told me you'd be coming. Come in. Cool. Um, I told you on the phone about the camera. You mind if I'm still rolling? Absolutely. Great. Nope. Thank you. Come in. Make yourself at home. Yeah. So, um, so what, what do we got here? Just walk in. We'll, uh, we'll go from here. All right. This is my little setup. Oh, yeah. A little home away from home. Very simple. Very straightforward. Not very elaborate at all. Mm -hmm. Does what I got to do. Cool. Well, no, this is a great place to do this. Um, I just, I need to set up some lights, so um, it's going to take me a little while. That's good. I'm actually right now on the line with the hedge fund guy, so I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to finish with him, uh, and let me know when you're ready. Okay, cool. Easy enough, eh? Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, man. Hey there. I'm back. All right, so where are we? New Zealand dollar, US dollar. We're looking at the daily time frame right now. While I was setting up, Russ was talking to one of the funds that he advises in simultaneously managing a live trade, which he later showed me that was up $12,000. This was the first glimpse of a real trader in action. I was getting excited about starting the interview. I noticed that Russ's setup wasn't overly elaborate, just his laptop and an additional monitor. A lot of traders think several monitors running at the same time are needed. Maybe not so much. Watching him do it, he makes it look easy. Well, Russ. I, um, I I really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, you know I I can I can see that you're you're really really busy. So uh, you know greatly appreciate it. Alex, it's not a problem. Uh, Andrew was telling me that you have been doing this for a little while and currently you're struggling. Uh, and if I can help in any way, I'll be happy to do that. Great, thank you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, before we get going, there's kind of a baseline I'd like to establish. Uh, if I'm going to help you, I kind of need to know where you're at. Uh, so if you don't mind, if I ask you a few questions to begin with. Yeah, no, go ahead. Uh, so the first one would be, how long have you been doing this? Now, Andrew had mentioned that you've been doing it for a couple of years. Now, I don't know if that means a couple of years, years, or you've just been doing it for a few months. Uh, how long have you been trading Forex? Well, um, I, I think um, I've been dabbling in it for about three or four years. So dabbling in it, does that mean you're not that serious about it? Well, you know, I I was serious, but uh, well, I, I think I've lost a bit of faith. So you started out all gung ho, mm -hmm. and uh, hasn't gone kind of the way you wanted it to, and now you're not not as gung ho anymore. What along the way has changed your mind? What's made it so that you don't think that now you can make the money you thought you could? Two years ago. Well, um, I guess I haven't I haven't gotten rich yet. I haven't gotten to uh, to where I wanted to be, you know. Right. And um, I, I see these guys on TV. Um, they're talking about it on TV, and they're talking about you know the the uh, uh, working from home and and making a small fortune. And I guess what I was what I was expecting is just to to buy, to get a system, mm -hmm. 
and to implement it and just uh, just you know turn the tap on and watch the money roll in. Sure. I think every forex trader falls for that initial hype. And there's a lot of it out there. There's a lot of hype. Uh, forex is one of those niches that marketers love to sell to uh, because it's easy. You know, it promise you riches, people are going to buy. You're going to pay the money. But, you know, like yourself, you get into that and then you realize, you know, this, this isn't everything they said it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So as a new trader, uh, you, you basically fell into the hype. Now, yeah. you can't be blamed for that, of course. Uh, I mean, who doesn't want to make a bunch of money overnight, kind of thing? Mm -hmm. um, but the hype is the hype. I mean, it is hype. It's overhyped. Uh, you can get rich trading Forex, uh, but it's not the get-rich-quick scheme that they make it out to be. Oh. Now, you've been doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. Like, you've been, I mean, it sounds like you're pretty committed to this, I and mean, you've been doing it for two, three, four years, you say. Yeah. Uh, you, you haven't struck it rich yet. You think maybe you should, but you're still doing it. Uh, so that, that makes me wonder why. Are you doing it? I mean, you're obviously doing it for more than just a quick buck. If that was what you're in it for, you would have quit three years ago. Uh, so what? what's the motivation? Why are you still trying to make this work? Well, uh, you know, first of all, I think personally, I, I want to work from home. You know, I want to <laughs> set my own hours. You know, I want to want to have my own schedule. And and um, I, I don't want to have a boss anymore. Right. I want I want to uh, to to like, take control and just make it my own. So you basically want the freedom that Forex can provide. Yeah. Uh, and you get a lot of that in the hype. So you can trade from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. The beach, you know, wherever wherever you want. As long as you've got an internet connection, you can trade. Uh, you can trade your own hours. I'm sure you've heard that as well. Yeah. Um, the good part is a lot of that aspect, a lot of that hype is, is true. You can trade anywhere you want. Uh, and I'm glad to see that you that you want that freedom. I mean, ultimately, that's what we all want, is the freedom. Uh, and Forex can provide that for you. Um, now, with that being said, just like any high-paying job, whether you're a lawyer, doctor, whatever the case is, there is there's a commitment that you have to make. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is the case, if you're willing to make a commitment, which it sounds like you are because you've been doing it for a few years, uh, that that makes me want to ask, you know, how much time do you put into it uh, per day, per week, per month, if that's the case? Well, you know, I'd have to say it's about four to five hours a day. So you're putting five hours a day into trading. Yeah. That's... Uh, that's remarkable, and I'm I'm really happy to hear that. Now, out of that five hours, what what does that entail? Is it just trading? Is it just reading? What what does that five hours a day kind of entail for you? Well, that's uh, well, there there, there is the, the trading and the reading. Uh, then there is uh, I'm I'm on the forums and I'm chatting. I'm checking out the uh, the message boards. You know, I, I, a little bit of everything. So you're trying to get better, you're trying to improve. Mm -hmm. Now that hasn't happened for you yet. You're still you're still struggling. Yeah. So you're not where you think you should be. Are you making any money or do you think you're still kind of flat or you're actually losing money at this point? I think I'm 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 about I'm pretty flat. So you're making a little bit, you're losing a little bit. Yeah. You're making a little bit, you're losing a little bit. Yeah. That's, so so I, I guess the, the the big question for for, for you is you know, uh, um, the this forex trading. You know, is it is it uh, a viable way for for an average guy like me to make money? You know, right. is it or, or is it a, a marketing scam? You know, are guys actually making money? Finally, the truth comes out. This is what I've been waiting for.